Folks, can you hear me? I can hear you. What's going Hi. on, sis? Hey, you know. How it's... are you? I'm good. How are you? We love you. Welcome in. I love you. Thanks for having me. Super excited to have you. Long time coming, but uh, yeah. better late than never, and I'm really excited. I, uh, I'm sorry, Livy, if we scared your TV. I did not mean, I don't know if you saw that mocha, but for some reason, my uh, my camera went purple and green for a hot minute. I did see that for a minute. <laughs> Hi, Liv. Thank you so much. <laughs> Hi, Rita. Roy. Hi. <laughs> I, uh, I'm, I, I'm so grateful for you for uh, giving us some of your evening and, and deciding to oh, come yeah. hang out with us. I, uh, I just course. really appreciate it. And I appreciate you and everything I that you've done. You, it's just been awesome so i'm um, honored to be here to be honest well, I appreciate i'm very it. honored well good i'm glad we're gonna have a blast and uh, oh yeah I, I think everybody's pretty familiar with it you know um 21 questions i've got 21 ready to roll but if you guys have any other questions in the chat feel free to shoot them out as we go we'll just kind of like play rapid fire and put mocha in the hot seat have some fun you feel like you're ready to go sis i do Always, bro. All right. Always. Let's get into it. Jess, welcome in. Good to see you as well. Appreciate you stopping in. Um, all right. First question. We'll start with a couple of easy ones, okay? Some real simple okay. ones. What was the last show you binge watched? <laughs> um. Okay. So, like, anime or not anime? Whatever because... you want to tell us about. Okay. So, like, I am, I'm a big weeb, okay? Um, <laughs> but, uh, no, I... I, um, I actually, I watched, um, I think it was the something Gambit. Um, Queen's it's Gambit. On yes. Queen's Gambit. Okay. It's on Netflix. Did you like I it? Re I really did. I was very surprised at how much I liked it. That's the one about, um, uh, chess, right? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I, I didn't, I don't know. I don't know. It was just, it was one of those shows because i had i had it recommended to me by a lot of people um and I, I i don't know it was like one of those things where i was like i don't know if i should watch it because i feel like it's gonna be boring mm. but <laughs> you know what i mean but it's not so it ended up being actually, really good it ended, huh it ended up being really good that's definitely actually, popped up on our list we haven't started watching it but we've heard good things about it so i'm, I'm good yeah i'm glad to know another person enjoys it yes in terms of anime, though, um, I would say Jujutsu Kaisen okay. has been our rich, our binge right now. Nice. Um, it's really it's really neat. It's actually kind of like an in between between like Naruto, um, Bleach, and um, Noragami, actually. So if anybody knows what the heck I'm talking about, <laughs> y'all would know. But. So I'm curious, where do you go? Like, where would a beginner go to start? diving into anime are you gonna find it all on netflix do you find it somewhere else what, what what's the move right so um i would suggest crunchyroll okay um it's like a streaming service for um for anime and like you know stuff like that um and honestly i guess like if I was to suggest a show to watch for like the first time, um, I would probably suggest something like um, like My Hero Academia, mm. um, which is kind of a um, kind of like a superhero show. If anybody knows what the heck My Hero Academia is, okay. Um, and it just has um, so not everybody likes like subbed anime, which is like. So like Japanese, and then you have like the titles, right? Mm. Um, so, but it has like a good um, like English dubbed. So um, that's why I would probably suggest start there. My hero, yeah. Good to know. We're gonna put that down. I'm gonna have to remember some because I've got so many friends in my Twitch space that are big anime fans and swear by it, and uh, <laughs> I just I I was never exposed to it growing up and Rita wasn't either so we'd be completely lost so Crunchyroll Liv says Funimation 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 is a good one too I also okay. use Funimation good to know I like yeah, it yeah I and like I have like I mean it depends on like what genre you're feeling too so like if you're like action or like horror or like romance you know what I mean there's sure. different genres 
So um, I guess like depending on what kind of genre you're into, like I could give suggestions on that as well. Okay. So. Well, you you guys, I've got a couple people on my list that I, when we're when we're ready, I'll I'll come to the experts. I know where to go. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. I got you. I got your back. <laughs> I appreciate that. Thank you for having our back. Okay, next question. Always. What's your favorite time of the year? So I, I love summer. <laughs> okay. I love summer. Um, I love spring as well, but I, I think I gravitate more towards summer because I I enjoy the heat. I, I, I don't know. Mm. I enjoy the, the hot weather. Um, I know not everybody does and everybody's like, oh, wow, like it's really, really warm. You, it's, I like the cold. I don't know. Um, <laughs> but uh, I really, I enjoy, um, I, I think it's just like, it means vacation to me. Mm. It means like bathing suit weather it means swimming it means um we actually have a lot of conventions we go to during the summer so um that's kind of what summer means to me positive like connotations and memories towards summer yeah i get it exactly and who doesn't like the sun i will say summer's a little hot for me personally but that's fair i hate winter so if if i had to choose i'm definitely gonna roll with summer too Um, yeah over the two but yeah yeah no there's so many nice things to do and uh good weather able to travel able to be outside a lot it's who doesn't love the summer at least on some level you know no hating uh, on winter no (laughs) hating on winter livy i i can't scrape i can't scrape another ice and snow covered windshield i will lose my mind you know i will lose it listen i (laughs) i live in northeast ohio Oh, you know. And um, I get constant snow all the time. Um, we just had snow a little bit uh, a couple of days ago. Mm. Um, you guys, yeah, you guys did. Rita's parents live up in Cleveland. We do. Yeah. Yeah. So it's 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 kind of crazy um, up in Northeast, uh, you know, especially because yeah. we're by like the lake and stuff. Yeah, I feel that. Um, Kangwin's in the building. Love you, brother. Says uh, summer is the worst. It's too hot. And Roycey hates the summer because there's too many people. You guys, you guys are buzzkills. No, I'm kidding. Um, yeah, I agree though. It it can be really hot and there can be a, a little crowded. Like I don't really love public places in the summer. Like yeah. the community pool or like the yeah. fair. There's some yeah. things where I'm like, nah. I'm I'm talking about being in my own backyard hanging out or with a small group or you know stuff like that. That's definitely more my vibe if I have to be. But it, I can only take small doses of summer. Like. I really, I can get burnt out pretty quick in the heat for sure. No, I kind of agree with that. Rita, on the other hand, she'll sit out there and just cook. That's me. That's me. No, we got Rita. You're my soulmate. A little apartment (laughs) complex pool, man. She'll just sit out here. My summer sister. Exactly. Well, and she's born in July, so definitely a summer baby for sure. Um, But I, I, Livy's saying she doesn't like wearing. uh, She, she likes the. (laughs) She likes sweats. Sweatshirts. And sweatshirts and hoodies. I definitely vibe with that. I'm a big fan of the sweatshirt yeah. gang too. Um, for sure. I would say fall is probably my favorite. Nice you in like between. Oh. You know, weather's usually decent. Buckeye football usually rolls around. The brownies. Yeah. So there's there's like good okay. stuff going yeah. on. I'm a big fan of the fall. I see. I'm, I I like spring. I think spring, summer, and fall. I think is kind of how. It, well, mm, I think it goes fall, summer, and then spring. If I had to like rank them mm. and then winter. Because mm. I, I just, I don't vibe with winter and it makes me like I'm the really same sad. way. I'm the same way. <laughs> I feel you. I can't. I just can't for some no. reason. Um, yeah. All right. Really easy. We're staying on the easy track. Just hammering out a couple of the layups and then we'll get to the deeper ones. You ready? I'm ready. What did you want to be when you were growing up? So I actually originally wanted to be a singer. Oh, nice. Yeah. I was like, I, I, I always like sang in the shower. I had like, I don't know if anybody... Um, if anybody did this when they were younger or even still does this to this day, but like the whole, um, hair brush with the microphone kind of ordeal, like <laughs> singing in the shower, you know, jamming. Yep. That's pretty much, that was pretty much me. That was the move. Like, that was the move. Um, and I actually like, I try, I actually tried to do it, um, like my my dad was a musician is a oh, musician wow. um so he um 
he like had like recording studios and things and like cool. I would sing for them. Nice. And so like it kind of almost happened, but then um, I, I think just school got in the way. Mm-hmm. Um, and then kind of like as I grew up, I grew out of, you know, being a singer. But you were still a musician, right? Yeah, I, I still went to music. That's what I went to school for. So yeah, I didn't realize um, you went to school for it. Yep. Cool. Uh, I went to school for music ed. So, um, I my main instrument was flute. Okay. Um, I did like sing in the chorus and stuff, and I did marching band all throughout. Sure. Um, and you know, just like you. So. Yep. 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 <laughs> You know, and um, so, you know, and then I had to learn like all the different instruments and um, oh, yeah, I had to learn percussion. I had to learn. It's wild. I mean, I know that the music, learn... the people who go into music ed have to become experts in, in yeah. a sense or at least familiar with everything. Yeah. But, um, yeah, that would be that would be overwhelming. That would be yeah. overwhelming. It, it was because I had to take like 18 credits every semester mm. and the one credit hour courses were really like three credit hour courses. I see. That makes any sense. Yeah, it does. No, it really does. Yeah. So. And then of course, like, you know, there's a lot of things out there with budget cuts and just like poor pay for music educators. It well, really, that's... it sucks. I mean, it's being, being a child of music, marrying a musician, knowing so many friends who are musicians, it's really disappointing that... Um, you know, the the art of music can be just sort of ripped away from our youth just because of silly stuff and lack of funding. It's disappointing yeah. for sure. Which is kind of why it set me off of the path sure. of music education. Sure. Um, because, you know, I didn't want to, because I know there's a lot of positions open like in Columbus and things like that. Um, I didn't want to move to Columbus because my my family are all up in the Cleveland area. Mm-hmm. So, um, so is my husband's. So, um, tough to and, tough to sell it just because of a career. Yeah, I just I couldn't. So, and there's really not like, and I've looked, and it's just I I've gotten to the point where I'm like, you know, I, I I'm finding my own way. Yeah. I have I have another thing like in my mind of what I want to do, yeah. you know, in life, and yeah. I love that. I love that. And so. I, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm disappointed on one hand, but I'm also really proud of you for you to be able to switch and change gears and, and be able to do what you need to do to sort of yeah. continue to support yourself and, and have a meaningful, fulfilling career. That's what it's yeah. all about um, at the end of the day. Yeah. So, yeah, that's that's awesome. I didn't uh, I didn't realize that. Very cool mm-hmm. that you wanted to be a singer. Yep. Very, very so. cool. Sarah, welcome in. It's good to have you. Miss Kimber Place has so many parallels. She also yes. wanted to be a singer, and her dad has been in the music business. Seeing behind the scenes kind of turned me away from wanting to do it as a career. That's fair. Yeah. That's fair, Rita. Yeah, my uh, my dad also, um, we he did a lot of the music business side, too, and he's actually still, um, I don't know if anybody knows of the band Boku, but it was like a huge like in the 80s like he's a big 80s junkie yeah um and he um he's actually a part of that group now oh, like no he way. is legitimately a part of that group so um that's amazing it, so you know and that's just kind of it's funny because like that was like one of his favorite groups growing up and he's now a part of how them, cool so. And his oh, best cool. friend is the lead singer. So that's amazing. Yeah, that is so funny. so fun. Uh, Roycey with a great question here. Uh, what instrument did you hate learning the most, and which one was your favorite? So, like besides the ones that I'm proficient at, so I I actually um, am proficient at flute and trumpet. Okay. Um, so trumpet is my secondary, um, but you know besides vocal. Yeah. Um, but I would say. My least favorite to learn was the upright bass. Oh, wow. Um, And that's just because I'm really, really freaking small. And (laughs) I had to... It's a um, big instrument. It's huge. And um, it's really, really freaking heavy. Yeah. Um, And I had to, like, I had to... They didn't have any, like, quarter size basses for me. Okay. (laughs) Which is, like, a really smaller one. Yeah. They only had a half size. And, like... Like, you have to be really tall, yeah. like, in order to, like, play, like, a yeah. full-size upright bass. Ugh. But I, I could barely even reach. <laughs> That's so, so funny. I can't even so. imagine. Can't even imagine. 
Yeah. And like, I, I think it's just like that. It was like the um, actual posture for it, but like also like bowing, mm. like bowing the upright base was like weirdly incredibly difficult ah. um, for me at least. Huh. Um, so I would say that. Yeah. Um, my favorite instrument um, besides my own. Um, I'm going to have to say saxophone. Ooh. I'm going to have to say saxophone. Saxophone's it's a cool really, instrument. It's really neat. Um, I I actually had a lot of fun with it. Um, to be honest, if I could learn it, like, even more, you know, honestly, I would probably, if I had a saxophone, like, actually le- legitimately learn it. Yeah. Um, but, or get profession at it, I would say. Um, but, yeah, I would say saxophone. It's It was a really neat instrument. It's I, I've always admired people who can play sax. It's funny because I think our age group saxophone like wasn't cool for a while because like Kenny G like got he was like basically memed and he like yeah. what, he was like sort of a, the butt of so many jokes. But it's <laughs> such right. a it's such a cool instrument and I've always yeah. appreciated it. Um, so that's very cool. I, I like that. Yeah. I like that a lot. Um, yeah. Were you Team Backstreet Boys or Team In Sync? Oh. Uh my men no (laughs) no i literally loved both of them didn't matter huh uh you know honestly i i really loved both of them um i probably would have gravitated more towards backstreet boys um because i i don't know if anybody here is um too young or i don't know old enough i guess to know about cassette tapes back in the day mm-hmm. um but i used to have a cassette tape of uh the millennium um album, album. of extreme uh-huh. <laughs> um so wow. i mean i still have it to this day actually that's so I, i'm funny. like i don't know why but i like i'm keeping it maybe as a moment. You should have. I mean, you might as well. <laughs> At some point, they're going to be like so hard to find. Yes. Um, that's so funny. Yeah. You know, I've, I've asked this question a few times on here and I think it's still pretty 50 50 with the people who have answered. I personally yeah. was more team in sync. Um, Were you? They, yeah. I, I've always been a JT fan. JT oh, just, okay, wait, okay, he same. always <laughs> spoke to me. I mean, JT, JT like no. resonated with me on a different level than any of the other individuals on both sides. Me so. too. Actually, okay. So, like, if we could, I mean, I love, I do love NSYNC. Okay, don't get me wrong, but like, <laughs> I agree with that. Like, if I had to take away, if it was between JT, like, if it was JT and Backstreet Boys, I would take JT. In me a too. Me too. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> that's fair. Yeah. No, I mean, yeah. I've seen, I've seen him, him live, um, oh, two times, and he's so incredible. Jealous. He's amazing. Rita and I saw him just. Uh, I think early 2019 together. Um, oh my God, he's so just so like nice. the ultimate performer. You know what I mean? So, so so good. Um, that's so funny. I like I, I like uh, I like asking that question and, and hanging out. So yeah. Um, Miss Kimbrough Play says uh, she was in love with a saxophone player in high school. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that's funny. You and, didn't uh, know I existed. <laughs> Legend of Cora says uh, now you have to learn. I have to learn saxophone because Rita was in love with the sax player. I mean, the lo- the logic is solid. I can't lie. I mean, technically, I could teach you. The logic is solid. Yeah. And I, I have always enjoyed it. Um, yeah, that's so funny. Um, that's so funny. Big, big Dad K in the building. He's better solo. That's my dad, by the way. Hello, Pops. What's up? Hey, hi, Dad. Um, yeah, I agree. He is better off solo than he was in the group. But uh, yeah, JT. JT's the man. Um, are, you, is, are you a... Uh, are you a sunrise person or sunset? If you could watch either one. Sunset. Sunset. Oh, yeah. Me too. Mm-hmm. Me I don't too. like getting up early. <laughs> nope. Not interested. Nope. No, not even a little bit, to be honest. Um, yeah. yeah. You know, there's there's a lot to be said about, you know, a beautiful sunrise, especially if you travel. Like, I think sunrises yeah. are definitely really cool if you're in a place where, A, you can see it, and B, yes. it's like a different look than where you normally are. You know what I mean? Um, mm-hmm. You know, it's a different landscape. It's a, a different view. Uh, but other than that, <laughs> no, thank you. I'm I'm just right. chilling with no. the sunset. I agree. Yeah, I am down with that too. I'm glad you you and I on on that page. Absolutely, I yes. love it. Good. Good. Is that Maddie? Is that how we say it with the follow? <gasps> Maddie. Oh my gosh, that's um. Oh, that's 
just one of my friends, one of my one of my uh, streamer friends. Welcome actually. in, Maddie. <laughs> awesome to have you. Appreciate you stopping in, hanging out with uh, with Mocha. She's doing an awesome job. We're, we're hammering through these questions quickly. Um, Mocha, how important is your family to you? Oh, uh, very, very important. I mean, I that's actually the whole reason why I didn't want to move to like Columbus or Cincinnati because mm -hmm. our our family here is um, very important to us. And we we actually all of our family lives pretty much around the area, like the same area as one another. So because yeah. we grew up together, we went to high school together. We are high school sweethearts. Yes. OK. Um, so, you know, we we kind of grew up in the same area and our families are in the same area. The only people that aren't are my aunt and uncle and a couple of my cousins that live in Las Vegas. Oh, wow. Hey, that's not a so, bad place to go visit no, some family, I'm, though. Listen, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Listen, I've always wanted to go. I've never gone. <laughs> I still want to go to this day. I love it. Um, and I really want to go to um, uh, the Electric Daisy Carnival. What's Festival. that? Oh, the oh, it's it's um, EDC. So um, we're really into like electronic music. Okay. Like me and my husband. I listen, Kimbro. I listen to everything. Sure. I love everything. Sure. I'm that way too. But I I I know you are. I feel like we've had this guy conversation before Kimbro um but I do know um it's it's like a really big like electronic so like for example Skrillex and like Dead Mouse sure. and um well uh I don't think Daft Punk really not went over there I was but, gonna say um, well, not, not anymore not anymore because, unfortunately gosh damn um anyway <laughs> um but then like you know like um Dylan Francis okay and, uh, yeah I know all those names yeah so, so that's something different than Electric Forest? Yes. Because um, that's close to us say, in Michigan, right? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I've actually always wanted to go to the Electric Forest as well. That's Did the only I one I've heard Sorry. of. No, you're good. Roy, we love you. Appreciate you. We love you, you sweetie. Yo, get a, get a good night's sleep for sure. Um, So Electric <laughs> Forest, I think, is here in the Midwest. And what you're saying yes. is is Electric Dance Festival and it's in Vegas? It's a da electric daisy carnival. Electric and daisy carnival. Okay. Carnival. Yep. And that's in uh, it's in Las Vegas. Yeah. Okay. It's bigger. It's way bigger than um, yeah, than uh, Electric Forest. Okay. But I've always wanted to go to Electric Forest too. Um, and I guess also speaking of, sorry, side note. Yeah. Um, there is a, I think there's an electric concert like a kind of like electric forest that is coming to i think columbus or cincinnati area mm. and i think that that's happening this year sometime in the fall okay i know that so, there was there was definitely something that came to columbus last year that was like just east of the city and it was like the first time it had come i guess it would have been two years ago because it wasn't during covid um, mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but usually columbus is known for rock on the range as far yes, as like festival concert things yes i i actually um i've always heard of rock on the range i've actually um i've only been to like warps tour which was up and up by us yep, yep before yep. it like left because it's no longer in existence yes but sad. um big sad yeah. um yeah that's so funny i love that i i would love to go out yeah. to vegas and spend some time with family and catch a concert yes. festival i'd be the bomb we need to get us some yes. family out in vegas that's what we need. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Living that only children life. Not a lot of options for us. We need some cool cousins. That would be dope. Yes. That would be dope. Yes. Um, I got to say hello. Taco's in the building. It's good to see you, brother. Taco. Appreciate you stopping in, uh, saying I love live music. I'm a live music nut. I feel you there, brother. Me too. I feel Me you there. Too. Um, My dad says 21 questions, huh? I think I like it. Thanks, dad. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. I'm glad you're enjoying the uh, the show. I appreciate you. Yeah. So um, I don't know if your your dad knows that I'm actually like in Ohio, like that I'm I'm from Cleveland. So yep, yep. up in Northeast Just Ohio. Now. Yeah, we love Mocha and uh, yeah. everybody in Eventually. here. If you're not already following her, please please holler at Mocha. Hit her with a follow on Twitch for me. She's uh, she's Aww, awesome. Thank you. Go ahead. Sorry. Bro. What were you gonna say? No, I was just gonna say like we we kept. <laughs> what up rex <laughs> um rex is but, awesome uh, i know 
Um, but yeah, no, I, I, like, I, I always think about this because we've been saying this pretty much since we met. Um, and, you know, I think Liv and, you know, Sam and other Sam and things like we're talking and Kat, um, we're all talking about like getting together sometime and like, I don't know, having a good old time. I would love that. Yeah, no, I think that'd be awesome. Kind of. I mean, this yeah. week was big for us. We just hit our COVID vaccine. So hopefully I saw uh, that. hopefully we'll be able to, to get out and about this summer and be able to see some people. I know Livy said she's loving Columbus. She doesn't even know. Columbus hasn't even really taken off for you yet because you haven't gotten a chance to hang out with us yet. So um, just wait. Columbus will get even better when you get a chance to kick it with the Kimbros. Um, but yeah. Taco, we love you. Appreciate you being here. Kingwin says, I just got the glitch mob on vinyl. <gasps> oh, oh, funny story about the glitch mob. Okay. So, um, I, so I actually was going to a convention and it was like one of our biggest conventions that we go to for, um, like anime and stuff. Um, and that same freaking weekend, the freaking glitch mob was near us. And so we were going to go see glitch mob, Oh wow! but, but you know, things didn't pan out you know correctly yeah. so oh. i would have loved to see the glitch mob because it was rip. glitch mob and i my favorite um like edm artist is seven lions okay so if anybody knows seven lions and kimbro if you don't know seven lions look them up i 100 percent. okay you will love I will. and i've been to his concert and i I swear to God, it's probably one of my f- most favorite concerts okay. that I've ever been to. Yo. Besides Red Hot Chili Peppers. Oh, no. You hit. You said the magic word. I know. I know. You said the magic word. I feel like we've had this conversation. You too. said the magic word. Rita is the most diehard Red Hot Chili Peppers I, fan I that know. I've probably I, I, ever <laughs> met. She yes. goes super hard for the Red Hot Chili Peppers. She had like... They're so good. I mean, yes, amazing. I mean, I grew up listening to them. I mean, who you couldn't grow up in, you know, late 90s, early 2000s yes. and not be familiar with their music good. at all. Um, loved them. But I'm just, I'm, la- I'm, I'm laughing because she's like, she she's told me stories over the time about how huge of a fan she was. She had like handmade books. She knew like every detail about them, like the stats of where they're from and what's going on is just, it's something else. <laughs> it's something else. Wow, Rita, that's insane. Hi. Yeah. Sorry, just want to say holler. Holler. No, you're good. Uh, Vance in the building. What's going on? Welcome in. Um, yeah, you guys are <laughs> cracking me up. Yeah, we uh, we love us some Red Hot Rita. Chili Peppers in the house. She's doing too much. She really is something else. Um, yeah. What is something that you've done that most people wouldn't know or guess about you? Uh, wow. That is a, <laughs> that is more of a trickier question. Um, you said, what is, repeat the question one more yeah. time. For What's me, something Kimbrough? you've done that people uh, wouldn't know or guess about you? Uh, Vance is excited. I want to hear this. <laughs> Sorry, that's like one of my best friends. I love um, it. Anyway, and it's actually, he's one of my mods for my channel too. Welcome anyway, in, Vance. Um, geez. Um, I, you know, I have a fun fact. I mean, it's not necessarily something that I've done. Okay. Per se. Um, well, I mean, I guess per Forming in front of people. I mean, I don't know if that's I don't know. Um, I'm like all over the place right now. I'm sorry, Kim. My goal, that, that my, goal my goal, my <laughs> goal with every 21 questions is to put my guest in a spot where they oh. did not see a question or an answer like coming. That I went into banking. Wow. That I was a banker. Okay. For a while. How did that fit into the whole timeline here? <laughs> So, um, I, so as soon as I got out of school and as soon as I pretty much graduated college, um, I needed a job. Of course I need a full-time job. As most of us do. (laughs) Yes. So I had to, um, I was looking around and again, I was looking mainly for music ed and I couldn't find anything. Mm. So my aunt was like, Hey, there's this position here and it's more about like, you're going to be teaching finances oh, wow. to kids or, you know, like from preschool to college. 
so, um, you know, I was like, eh. I, you know, I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll check it out. And I interviewed and they loved me. And so then I got the job. Um, wow. I was working there for, this is actually my job before COVID like hit. Okay. So, and then I got laid off, oh. but you know, oh yeah. Anyway, but, um, I actually learned a lot about finances. I didn't really know about finances because <laughs> that was not my subject area. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's not what I really went to school for. So, um, but you know, I had to teach people how to build credit and yeah, of course. I had to do, I had to literally do loans. I had to, I do I know how to do loans. Yeah. I know how to like, yeah. So that's awesome. Bank, yes. Banker Mocha. Banker Mocha. Banker Mocha. I mean, yep. some invaluable, you know, information and skills developed. Yeah. Um, I learned a lot. Yeah. Incredibly useful, obviously, both applicable to your Twitch life, to your personal life, everything. It's, oh, yeah. It's, it's pretty awesome. And I and I teach like my like, for example, my sister, who is actually trying to buy a house right now, sure. which is insane. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, you know, she she asked me for advice about like how to build credit and things like that, and I tell her all the tips that I know yeah. and you know the credit bureaus and things. So, so awesome! You're such a good resource to her, and um, you know what a what a what a great sisterly act to be able to support her and not just be like, yeah. nah, good luck. I'm not helping you. I'm always here to support her. I love so. it. I love it. That's awesome, uh, Livy. Livy and Miss Skimmer play say uh, they wish someone would have taught them about finances in preschool. Same. Right? Facts. Well, like, listen, <laughs> it was like, um, <laughs> so when I mean like finances, I mean like this is a penny. <laughs> Sure. Um, the penny is small and brown. Like this is this is how. <laughs> like, but like I'm talking also. I was in high school. Like when I was teaching high school, mm. um, you know, I would teach them about um, kind of like how to open up accounts and why saving is important. Sure. And um, why building up credit when you're younger, you know, is important. Yep. And building it wisely yep. and. Yeah. I love it. All so important and key. I would have never guessed. Not that I don't think you would have been or made a good banker. Right. I just, you're so musical and so creative. That side just feels so much, such a drastic difference from, and, from the part of you that I'm familiar with. So I would have never guessed. That's perfect. That's perfect. Honestly, it was not something that I ever imagined myself even remotely doing because yeah. I am terrible with math. So... <laughs> I love but, it. I love it. Um, alas. Livy says, uh, save, save, save is all I do. And spin, spin, spin that is, is all, all Sam, Sam does. does. You know, don't put Sam out on front street like that. Don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. That's so funny. Rita. Rita's like, real talk. This was us yesterday. If we ordered DoorDash for every meal today, we just won't do it all for the next three days. And then it will average you know, out. That's, that's a big brain play. We ate at home all day today because we had... Well, and to be fair, we weren't feeling good yesterday. So no, right, neither of us were. Yeah. Scenes, right? and, and Rita really was struggling. Like she was ready to call off work. And um, I'm really nervous. Yeah. I'm. You know, all, all, all told, I would say it's worth it. Like what she yeah. went through. Like I can't speak for her. But what she right. went through, what I observed wasn't as bad. Like to put someone in a spot where it's like, don't do it. Like it's right. not like you're on your deathbed for a, a hot minute and it's no she was achy she was sore she was uncomfortable and then it was over and uh right. and, and now you're you know protecting yourself and others so right definitely we worth it but in the so middle cool. uh, well congratulations i'm excited for you guys um <laughs> in the middle of it we looked at each other multiple times and we're like i'm not cooking let's just have somebody bring us some food so yes we were like if we do it three That's times in one day, we'll just need two or three days in a row where we eat at home. We'll make up yeah. for it. It'll average itself yeah. out. Yeah. Moko, Absolutely. what uh, what personality trait would you say has gotten you into the most trouble? <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, Kimbrough, these questions. Hey. I swear. It's so funny because I've seen your other <laughs> 21 questions and I feel like this one. Oh, weird. Um, oh, Vince, please. Vance wants, Vance wants a no, crack. Please. <laughs> <laughs> no, please. No, please. I beg. Um, no, um, you know, a personality trait. Um, honestly, 
really, I, I mean, <laughs> I don't even want you to take a crack at it because I can't think of anything right now. Um, <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> like, um, anyway, um, it, I, uh, okay. I don't know if this is technically a personality trait, okay. but I tend to worry a lot oh, okay. um, over what people think of me. And I, I worry a lot about um, other people a little too much. Mm. Um, I worry about, I, I actually, I'm a big worry wart. If okay. You will. Okay. Um, so I, I tend to worry too much than, you know, what really I should be worrying. Well, you know, Is that really your answer? I, I feel like that's pretty common for a lot of people. Like, you know, I, I feel like a lot of people, especially in today's day and age, like anxiety and sort of nervousness is just really yeah. it's such a it's such a part of the territory. So I'm not uh, I'm not all that surprised or, you know, um, I'm learning a lot, especially, you know, living with and, and getting to know Rita because she she's she's very much cut from the same cloth very much a worrier um oh god not that my mom doesn't have some of that but it, she's really my only real frame of reference growing up and she's not right. as much of a worrier and so it was a it was an adjustment for me with rita for a while and, and i had to learn a lot of like patience and learn how to to communicate to somebody who does get worried often and not like right. shoot her down all the time about being worried and be, you know so right. um I definitely understand that it's it's tough so that i don't think i don't think it's it's a bad trait by any means but i'm interested why you picked it out because you said like what has it gotten you into trouble has it been something that's caused issues in your life yeah i, I would say it it's more done harm to me okay. than it has fair enough and my my husband i think um than it really has done to anybody else okay so, okay Really, it. I guess it's our life yeah, <laughs> that yeah, it's yeah. caused harm to. Um, and you know, I. I don't know. I feel like, um, you know, I tend to bring work home, if mm, you will. Yeah. Um, and I worry a lot about you know stuff like that. Yeah. So, and that when I really sense. shouldn't be. So. Hey, it's it's a hard thing to to shake, especially when you're just wired that way. So. Yes. Look, we love you just the way you are. Never change. <laughs> Never Thanks. ever change. Thanks, um, I'm laughing. You guys are doing too much in the chat. That's why I tell Rita, you're doing too much. Um, <laughs> Livy says she's she would like to become a DoorDasher, and maybe one day she'll end up at our house delivering something for DoorDash. And uh, she said she'll hide in a bush if she shows up. And uh, Taco says she should go knock knock. I'm Liv, and here's your food. Hand them their food and say, "Get, Get loined, loined, bitches." Loined, bitches. <laughs> 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 oh man, I love it. So, so funny. Um, and then of course, one of my favorite quotes on that Rita says is, I don't have a nervous system. I am a nervous system, which is that very is true. A very, beautiful quote, very true, Rita. Rita, because that is also literally me. <laughs> oh, Wait, why, why are Rita and I like literally the same person? It's gotta be that, bro. it's gotta be in that North, Northeast Ohio water. I swear Probably. something's going on up there. Something is going you on up there. Right. Uh, Mocha, when you're having a bad day, what do you yeah. do to make yourself feel better? Um, so I like to do, um, like I, I like to either take a shower, like a hot shower, like, or a hot bath and just kind of like, you know, bathe and like soothe myself. Or, um, I like to play video games or watch anime or watch movies or we might go out to a movie. I, I like to kind of get away sure. um, from whatever is stressing me. Um, or if I'm having a really bad day, like a really, really bad day, yeah. um, I would have my husband comfort me. Yeah, yeah, of course. Lean on your support system. Yep. All all great answers. Um, okay. I wish I wish movies were a thing, like going to movies. Yeah. Um, were you guys big go to movies people we are. back in the day? Yeah, back in the day we were very. We had uh, one of those. Like I don't know if you guys have Regal by you. Um, I, th I think a but, couple um, of them actually. Yeah. <laughs> we used to have like one of those like Regal cards that you would pay like a monthly subscription for, mm. and like you can go to as many movies oh, as you want, like within. That. 
I love anyway. that. So, and we would get like perks and stuff like that. Um, so we were big like moviegoers. I love going to the movies. I love because um, I actually one of my favorite classes in college was my intro my my uh, intro to film class. Okay. Um, and I learned a lot there. <laughs> I, I know. I learned a lot there. So I'm, I'm laughing because um, Rita loved her film class. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not. Rita, come out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. She no, loved we, it. Oh my gosh. It's literally my favorite class, yeah. which is so funny because it wasn't a music class. Yeah. <laughs> she, there's a um, there's a delay on Twitch. She's probably just now hearing it. She got headphones oh, on. Wow. She's probably uh she's probably laughing so hard. My god. Yeah, that's wild. It's wild. That is insane. <laughs> I love it. Rita, please get Rita. Arvin, it's um, good to see you. What's up, brother? Sorry, go ahead. No. But I I, I yeah, I gosh. Gosh, we are twins. We really are. It's crazy. Um, no, but uh, yeah, no, I would get like, <laughs> I would get one of those, you know, cards, and we would yeah. go all. Like, we would literally go all the time. Love we it. We would literally go all the time. We uh, we didn't. We we've definitely gone to the movies. Um, sometimes though, Rita and I tend to be, and maybe it's just because the recency bias with the with the pandemic, but we tend to be like. Yeah watch a show watch a thought-provoking show on the couch type of people too like big oh i i yo yeah same rather than like deal with people and spend the money on the popcorn like you know yeah oh yeah yeah we 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 love um you know at home movies too like yeah we we recently watched um i'm trying to think of we did go to the movies i think recently um, you know, obviously we're really safe about it. Yeah. But um we saw like Raya and the Last Dragon, which I believe was a Disney movie. Yeah, an animated movie, yeah. Which was really, really great. Okay. It was it was fantastic. Um <laughs> Rita says, I literally just journaled about that today. I had a journal yeah. prompt asking my secret passion. Yep. And I I said it was <laughs> no way. She Rita's really stop. She really does. That's wow. why I, that's why I couldn't help but laugh. Wild. Yeah. Wild. Yep. That's so funny. Oh my gosh. So so funny. <laughs> Brat, yeah. welcome in. It's good to see you. We love you, Brat. Hello. Appreciate you. Um, if you could have a billboard mocha with anything on it <laughs> no. on the side of the oh road, what's the billboard gonna say and why? Liv, don't you dare. Uh-oh. Don't you dare say what I think you're going to say. <laughs> and then if you're in the chat, do not do not say what I think you're going to say. <laughs> Vance is um, hitting us with the lurk. You might have dodged a bullet. Okay, all right, good. No, do not <laughs> live, please. Oh no, y'all are out here. Okay. Y'all are out anyway, here. No, I, you know, I would say, um, you know, you can something like an inspirational quote mm. for, um, like achieving your dreams okay because here's the thing so when i went to school for music it was a really big accomplishment for me to finish my degree in music because in my past in like my high school career my middle school career and things like that with music um and especially when i started to get really serious in high school um a lot of people didn't support me um which was like my band director my music teacher a lot of my um yeah so they did they didn't yeah they didn't really support me there um and they thought that i that I wasn't going to be a good musician, mm. that I wasn't going to be a good teacher or anything like that. Um, so I, <laughs> I see you. <laughs> I see you live. Please stop. <laughs> but anyway, um, <laughs> Jesus. Um, anyway, but you know, and I, I kind of went through um, college and with that in mind and my flu professor like believed in me mm. and um you know he like kept me going and you know eventually i made it and i i was the apparently the true success story for um the flute studio i love so that that's I'm awesome one of his favorite students back in the day i so. love it i love it well i i think so. there's we obviously all 
not just because of COVID, but just because life is hard in general, could use more inspirational billboards on the side of the road as opposed to, you know, random <laughs> plugs for company. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Or the random like political or religious commentary that you see, at least in Ohio, yeah. all over Ohio. Um, yeah. Yeah, no, that's a really good answer. Uh, okay, back to a fun one. You ready for this one? I'm ready. What fictional family would you like to be a member of? <laughs> Does this include <laughs> live, live all about abortion, hell, and cheese? In Ohio? Yeah. <laughs> Facts. That is so freaking. Taco yeah. knows too. Yeah. Live taco knows. Oh my god. Yes. Yes, taco. I didn't know taco you were a part of. You were. I think taco's in Columbus. Are you yeah. really a taco? I wow. think so. Corn. Yes. Lots taco. of corn. Um. Um. Okay. So, like, does the do these fictional families do they have to be um like real people? <laughs> No, or, like, I'm thinking like people. No, I'm thinking like um you know, whatever you whatever you uh gravitate towards in terms of a fictional family, whether that be in a movie or so, in a show or in a book. I'm going to have to go with my favorite anime of all time. Okay. Uh, a lot of people in the chat already know what it is. Um and it's One Piece. Okay. I'm a huge huge One Piece fan. I am up to date on everything. So I'm just saying it's a very, very long show. It is, we're about a thousand and nine chapters in the manga. Oh, wow. And 900 and like some odd, almost a thousand episodes in the anime. Wow. So, Ooh. but I will say it is very, very good. Um, it is, I, again, one of my favorites for a reason. I've seen a lot of anime. I've seen a lot. Yeah. Um, and I just, it's, there's nothing that comes close to the emotional, like, backstories from that anime. But I would have to say um, One Piece and specifically the Straw Hat crew. Okay. So. Nice. I have no idea. <laughs> I, like, no clue. But, like, okay, give us an idea for those who don't know, like, um, oh gosh! Like a like a trait or like, um, you know, some sort of like illustration of of why you resonate with that family. Um. So there is in that family there are you know there's the mom of the crew there's the dad of the crew there's even the grandpa of the crew um, and you have all of these people doing specific things. Um, but the thing, the thing that's, I think the most special about it, um, is that the way that they interact with each other and, um, how close they are, like mm. as a family and like how closely knit they are as a family and how they would literally do, like they would literally, <laughs> you know, stick together till yeah. the end of time. Huh. And, you know, I, I, I just... They they um are just super like caring and loving and it's just like also it's one of those things where it's probably yes live yeah you're accepting of everyone nice. and also another thing is um <clears throat> they are really they really like I mean the backstories of course but like also um I think it really like hits me because of how relatable they are. Okay. Um, and how relatable because I, I could literally see myself partying it, with yeah. them. Like in that, that, that group. is that lit, literally myself <laughs> insert myself in there. Sure. And I could see myself partying in there. That's pretty cool. Yeah, no, that sounds really cool. I'll definitely have yeah. to check out some more anime. I, I feel like I've been sleeping on it. Or uh, I, w I will suggest not to start with one. Not, <laughs> not that one, huh? It's really, really long. Okay. It's really, really long. Um, but, okay. but yeah, definitely when you watch some, you know, and then afterwards, if you want to dive into One Piece, I That's a good highly, call. highly recommend. Okay, okay. Taco uh, cracking me up. Uh, <laughs> our boy Gnarly <laughs> Nate in the building. Gnarly Nate is a is an awesome hey. Ohio gang member as well. He's uh, he's uh, saying corn not in my part of Ohio. Um, <laughs> it's good to see you, Nate. We love you, man. Appreciate you stopping in, brother. Uh, Brat still here hanging out. Livy. 
thank you guys all for you know just dedicating some of your time on a Thursday to to me and Mocha means a lot. Mocha, you're a legend. I appreciate you. I'm about halfway done. You feeling good? Yeah, bro, you're the legend. You ready geez. to you ready to keep moving? I I'm here. Okay. I'm here for it. Okay. Uh, name one thing you always imagined yourself doing, but you never did. Uh, honestly, being a baker. Like, okay. I know that sounds really weird, but like, I I literally could see myself being a baker. Okay. Like, I I love making sweets. Yeah. I love making pretty much anything. Sure. Um, and I could probably see myself as a baker, but. Just, I, it just I never happen. really yeah I just didn't want to like pursue that yeah that's cool though but that's definitely I fun it. I uh, how about you I'm trying to think um you know I I definitely I I it's 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 kind of like a cop-out answer because I kind of got a taste of it I did some volunteer work doing it um but I I've always wanted to be a coach I've always wanted to coach sports and I can see that. I did a little bit in college um, when I my my parents were involved in a in a youth basketball league locally that I used to play in. And then, as you grow up, you sort of give back to the to the league by coming back and volunteer coaching or yeah. you know supporting any way you can. And I did it for maybe three or four years. My dad and I sort of like co head coached the team. It's you know ages were like nine to nine to thirteen somewhere in there. Um, but it really like scratched that itch for me. I, I really do like educating young people, especially yeah. through the lens of sports. Uh, yeah. I've always had a passion for that, and um, I, love that. I could have definitely gotten into it as a profession if I if I would have stuck with it. I actually took a class at Ohio State on it, just as a throwaway. Like I needed a filler, um, but it ended up being like really really fun, and I learned a lot about it behind the scenes. So That's yeah, awesome. definitely something I I would have liked to do, and and you know never you never know who knows. Um, for sure. Who knows? But baking is pretty Down cool too. Baking is pretty cool. I'm impressed. What's your favorite yeah, thing to bake? So I really like. <laughs> Um, I honestly really like baking, um, cookies. Like, I know that sounds ridiculous. I've actually, um, wanted to do, like, a baking stream eventually. Yeah. Eventually. I was get, that was going to be um, my next question. <laughs> yes. Um, I do want that to. That and a music stream. I have done a music stream. I mean, like, consistently. Like, it should be, like, in your, in your repertoire all the time. You see? <laughs> um, I... I'm a little rusty, Kimbro. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough. Um, fair enough. But uh, no, I I have done like a concert and things like that on my channel. Yeah. I've thought about probably doing another concert. Um, and one of my friends is, um, she actually is a musician herself as well. And uh, she, you know, has been putting albums together. So we've been talking about doing a collaboration. I love it. So... So something might happen there. That'd be awesome. But, uh, and eventually, you know, maybe we'll perform it on. Taco it? Taco we'll says uh, flutes and fondon. It's perfect. Yes. It's perfect. <laughs> yes. Sounds like sounds Love like the, the best segment. That's that's yes. a really good stream title. Um, <laughs> Mocha, what uh, what are you most afraid of? Heights. Ooh, quick, quick answer. Heights. heights. Oh yeah. Don't play oh, with heights. Oh yeah. I it is so bad Kimbro I can't I can't even get into a really tall building wow like like how tall are we talking like, like what, talking what kind of heights Sears, are we like talking like Sears Tower like Chicago it's a big Sears ass building Tower. yes I, I, I that's I don't know if I could go up there it's a big building I, I couldn't even, I remember when I was younger, I literally couldn't even set foot into Sears Tower. <laughs> wow. I, okay. I couldn't even set foot. In, so in does that. it, uh, does it carry over to, um, like flying? I, yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, I, I get really, really scared flying. Um, I <laughs> Um, my, um, uh, which is so funny because my husband tells me all the time, he's like, I have a fe I have a fear of heights and he, he, he kind of does, he mm. does, but like <laughs> my, my fear of heights is like far, far worse than his. Okay. Um, but yeah, no, I, I do have problems with like going up on planes, but as long as there's no turbulence. Sure. 
I'm okay. As long as it's smooth, we're we're chilling. As long as it's smooth, yeah. Yeah. I'm fine. That's so funny. Uh, Libby, Livy says roller coasters. So my hubby loves, loves roller coasters. <laughs> Literally wanted to be a roller coaster engineer. Wow. Like that is, yeah. That is what he Enthusiast. To do with his life. That is what he wanted to do, and yeah. I, I, I only like some roller coaster. <laughs> okay. So, so I only like you can the do smaller some ones, the small ones, the spinny the small, ones, <laughs> the small ones, or the ones like, yeah. or like the ones in the dark where I can't really see what's going on. Yeah, really. Okay, you know? okay. So like the Millennium Falcon, Falcon in Cedar Point, not 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 feeling that. No. That's like three hundred no. feet. The first the yeah, first no. hill is like three hundred feet up. Can't. Nope. I, I'm I, definitely. I, have a limit. <laughs> I was gonna say I'm definitely not a huge fan of heights either, um, especially like, like you said, like towers or, you know, structures where you're on the edge and you're looking down. I can do yeah. some roller coasters, even though I used to be really scared. I kind of got over the roller coaster fear, and I'm down mm -hmm. to fly. Something like weird in my brain clicks where it's like, I'm at peace with the fact that you really probably will never survive a plane crash yeah. like statistically so yes. like I, like <laughs> if we're going we're going and i'm chilling yep. i'm just gonna be i'm just gonna ride with it but um <laughs> like yeah because you can't really control it no we can't and like you know i could probably i could probably i could make some heights like work right like right. i could break a leg shatter a pelvis on the way down so flights don't really worry me because I'm because I'm big done, and I know Livy doesn't get down with the uh, doesn't get down with the whole death thing. So we won't. This isn't all things conspiracy. We'll keep it moving, but um, <laughs> I I can understand the heights thing. I definitely get that. Yeah. TMC in the building says, "Yo, what's up, TMC? Thanks for stopping in. Happy Thursday." Um, Happy Thursday. Mrs. Kimbrough plays says uh, she knows how I feel about turbulence. Rita is not a fan. I okay, same. I Wait. remember a flight and uh, yeah. Rita crying. Uh, no, that's me. Not a not a fan with some turbulence. No, I I 100% agree. Um, I actually I went through I think it was to Florida. I was on my way to Florida. Of course, it's Florida. Um, and it was hurricane season, and there was a hurricane coming in. Like I I want to say like, I think maybe like a few hours or something yeah. or so like it was bad it, we shouldn't have been flying and it was really like, the turbulence was oh, no. terrible yeah so Yikes. i feel that i, I mean, feel that rita I, i'm not saying that i love turbulence but i do feel like unless we sh unless we like shear off a wing we'll get through it like we'll be we'll be fine um that's yeah but yeah, turbulence is definitely not fun, especially the ones where you drop and you feel like, you know, kind of some roller coaster vibes. Yeah, I know. <laughs> your stomach ends up in your throat. That's that's yes. about that's what happened to Rita. We had a oh, couple gosh. couple spots in turbulence where the plane kind of fell, you know, 30 or 40 feet out of the air quickly and she was not not about that no. life. No. She was not about that life. Um okay. I feel that. You ready? Mocha I'm has ready. your her own talk show. You're on in the mid to late afternoon, right? Okay. You get to choose your very own first celebrity guest. Who are you going to have on? First celebrity guest. You can pick anybody. You have get you got like a gold card. Anybody is going to allow you like to breach their schedule and have, have them on. I would have to say somebody that I admire. Okay. Um, both. <laughs> I, I'm very attracted to this person, but also I really like their music. Nothing wrong with that. Very, very much like their music. Okay. Uh, Charlie Puth. Charlie Puth. Yeah. I'm huge. Big huge Charlie P fan. Puth fan, huh? Huge. Huge. He is everything. I always appreciate that Charlie P P Puth is, like Rita and I, we have like, I don't know, there's probably a term out there, like somebody already came up with this, but they're, he's sort of like a musician's musician, right? Like the kind of musician that other musicians appreciate because he's so music savvy and not just sort yes. of like someone who can sing a little bit and got famous because of other things like dancing or something. Correct, which is kind of why I love him. Sure. Um, just you know because i i would want to pick his brain to sure, be honest sure 
um, about music, and he also has perfect pitch. Yep, so that's what I was it's a say. little, it, you know, it. So he there, but there's just so because he went to like Berkeley College of Music mm. for um, to study jazz piano. Like that is what he went to school for. Um, so. I would definitely want to pick his brain because, you know, I also went to music school sure. and not obviously not Berkeley, even sure. though I, I applied and I auditioned for Berkeley. Did you really? I did. Wow. I didn't get in, but I Hell. also wasn't the best musician back say, when I was in high school. Not a lot of people who can even say <laughs> they're even eligible to apply. So yeah, that's legit. So Love yeah, that. no, but I, I, um, you know, I would want to kind of know like, I guess like how he comes up with his because he has some bomb stuff. I mean, yeah. he really, really does. And um, I would want to know how he comes up with like melodies and harmonies and things like which he's kind of shown. Like I don't know if anybody on follows him on TikTok, yeah. but like I do. He 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 does show like some of his like inner workings and things, which I truly enjoy. Yeah. So. Yeah. And no. he's also not he's one of those. One. Yeah, and he's not one of those like mus- musicians that would just throw out an album because that's why he's like waited so long um, because he's just constantly working on them. Mm. So I, yep. I don't know. I I admire him for that. So. That's a good answer. I uh, I can appreciate Charlie Puth being on there. I definitely can appreciate that. Patriots with the twenty biddies. Are you kidding? Thank you so much for the love, brother. Happy but Thursday to you. I would, I would no, also ahead, like Mark. internally like fangirl. Sure. <laughs> because I also like. Yes. Because you love him. It'd be hard <laughs> not to. <laughs> Nothing wrong with Charlie Poot. I mean, it's but. your talk show. You might as well have, yeah. have somebody on who you uh, don't mind looking at. Nothing wrong with it. You know? Okay, bro. Uh, Fro's in the building. Appreciate you, Fro's. What's going on? Brat's still Hi, here hanging out. Love you guys. Thank you guys so much for your time. Um, I, uh, I don't ever have a very good answer whenever I ask someone this question. Um, but one of the okay. kind of along the same lines... Um, for the reasons you like Charlie Puth, I actually am a huge fan and really admire Jamie Foxx for a lot of the <gasps> same reasons. Um, oh, I just think he'd be so fun to talk to and so dynamic yes. and really, so really talented at piano. It, he's He's got a couple YouTube videos. If you ever get a chance to look up Jamie Foxx's, he used to do his early standups where he would play piano for a segment of his standup. And he's like making songs and like, creating comedy with a huge grand piano on stage and he like sings and he like he makes up like a like a brady bunch he redoes the brady bunch but he sings it in like like four or five like prominent r&b voices like luther oh vandross and, like he does it as a joke um yeah and uh but his hit like he's spot on with his impressions he's just so talented so i would have jamie fox on and he, he and i would go through like some of that type of stuff for the first yeah. time for my for my own little talk show you know i could totally see him being on your talk show for real maybe we'll get him on 21 questions someday <laughs> <laughs> imagine that'd be sick imagine be, oh my gosh kimbro i could see it though i would love I'm it saying. i would love it I'm what's mocha what's your most used emoji uh probably i was gonna say we gotta check right just want to make sure for 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 me like for, that i use or yeah that like my chat uses you can do either one i was asking about like your phone like what's the emoji my when phone. you go to text somebody okay now i have to look through my phone I know. okay hold on well, I think... actually my mom texted me because we're also getting olive garden tomorrow oh let's go yes nothing like some olive garden up. breadsticks right oh gosh um <laughs> I'm generic, and uh, I use the heart emoji, like the sparkly pink heart. <laughs> okay, okay. Nothing wrong that's with a, it. That's what appears Hey, it means be. you must talk to a lot of people, right? You I, must you listen, must share love in your text a lot. I said the love. That's I right. The love, Meanwhile, mine but. is the crying, laughing face emoji. <gasps> and it's probably because yeah. I'm not talking to Rita all the time, and she's saying crazy shit to me in my phone. <laughs> Wait, That's... which one though? Like the sideways one or like the like Mine's the normal vertical one, but I like I think third or fourth is the sideways one. I switch <laughs> it up often, so I must be saying a lot to Rita. <laughs> no, so it's yeah, it's the it's it's sixth. It's sixth in the list is the the other version of the crying laughing face. Yeah. I would say my second one is like the like the pouty, like sparkly eyes, like <laughs> 
face. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so. The next one after mine is the prayer hands. That's my second one. I, I pray her hands a lot for some that reason. I you, Kim, bro. Yeah, for some reason I do. Yeah, that's um, fun. Amy pops with the three month subby. Three months up. Damn, Hell Amy, yeah. we love you. Let's Hashtag go. Mixed Gang. Appreciate you, Amy. Love you, sis. Happy Thursday. Hope you're doing well. Uh, Rita says, Mine is the smile with the hearts all around it because I love you. Oh, so cute. I was going to say, maybe you be texting somebody else because you don't be sending me that one very often. You're usually sending me like <laughs> random like uh, Instagram stories from like the Betches account or like <laughs> just like mm. obnoxious Instagrams <laughs> that you always uh, follow. She likes Rita. sending me crazy stuff. Oh, yeah, I um, my my third one is like the eyes. Like, you know what I'm just saying? Like, just like the... Yep. The the big eyes, yeah. Yeah, love oh that one. Gosh. I uh, this is mine. I love it. I love it. That's a good one too, Froze. Um, but I, but I guess like for my for my Twitch emotes, uh, this one is used a lot, as you know. Yes, I'm probably you're probably yes. pretty aware. Uh, the and Amy and no, I guess it, it was Taco. Taco using the Kimbro dab. I spam the Kimbro dab quite a bit. I too. I like yeah. the. I like the um the vibe check too okay like I, just, I spam the vibe yep, check yep. i also just love the vibe check well thank yes, you thank you thank you the uh are worth that. tell us which meal is your favorite breakfast lunch or dinner um so like i'm not really big on breakfast even though i really love breakfast food okay if that makes any sense it like does. i I love breakfast food, but I don't like eating it like during like breakfast the time. time. Yeah. Like I, I will eat it at breakfast time. Sure. You know, but I don't like go out of my way. Um, I would honestly say dinner. Mm. I think dinner is my favorite. Dinner's clutch. I, uh, I'm a big, you? I'm a big breakfast for dinner fan. Livy said that too. Okay. Yeah. Same. Yeah. Like literally, literally. Oh gosh. Yes. Please. Yeah. Big time yes. breakfast for dinner fans in our house. Rita, Rita's kind of. She actually is pretty good about eating breakfast. She's pretty consistent with it, but um, yeah, we're definitely breakfast for dinner fans. We oh same breakfast like the 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 things you get during breakfast, whether that be like sausage, eggs, bacon. Like I will eat that stuff no matter what, same. any time of day. There's not. Right. I don't feel like that way about everything. Right. Like the way that I feel about breakfast foods. So definitely. Yes. Yeah, I ha we actually just got a waffle maker. Ooh. So, yeah. So, Ooh. um, we've been like cooking up some waffles yeah. and it's been oh, Good I love for you waffles. guys. I was going to say like we have a uh we have an air fryer. And for me, you actually can take like sausage and bacon and like breakfast hash browns and put them all in an air fryer together and just let mm -hmm. them do their thing and then you're big chilling. You just literally can make breakfast in a in a basket that fast. 20 minutes. Love it. Love it. Yes. Love it. Uh, Brat says biscuits and gravy. Ooh. Ooh. She also says yes. she doesn't like to eat it in the morning, but she loves breakfast foods. Rita says she loves all the meals. Yes, that's true. And I just said, I just popped in and was like, me too. Facts. <laughs> Facts. Froze likes coffee. Are you a big coffee drinker? My name's not Mocha for, for nothing. <laughs> that is true. That is true. I was going to say, you and, you and Kat, you guys are all yeah. about some uh, some coffee. So like I I like more of the very very sweet coffee like very 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 sweet like I'm talking like sugar basically a dessert in a cup like sure. sugar coffee sure sure um so um because mocha is technically coffee with chocolate yeah <laughs> it's like right. chocolate coffee right so um but yeah no I I would say I'm more of like a frappuccino I love mocha frappuccino yeah um so nice that's kind of how I got part of my name I like so, yeah. it I like it. Staying true to yourself. Uh, if you could live in any era, what era would you choose? Um, you know, any era. Mm hmm Wow. Kimbro, that's deep. I know. This is a deep question. I know. I'm hitting you with some heavy ones here down the stretch. You know, like, are you talking like decades? Are we talking... I would say centuries. You can go any any anywhere 
Um, I think typically when people answer this question, they think of a 10 year span that's like span. recognizable as an era. Yes. Um, I probably still live in the 90s or the 2000s, to be honest. That was a pretty good time. Yeah. That was a pretty good time. Although I would want to like see, like I would, I would want to be in the 80s. Like I would want to like live in the 80s. Okay. But, I feel yeah. that. So I, my answer usually is the 90s as well but I would like to be a little older because a lot of the mm. cool stuff that happened in the 90s, I, I was alive, but I was super young. So I would love to experience it in like like my mid 20s to early 30s so I could like really enjoy it and take it all in and appreciate some of the humor and the craziness as opposed yes. to being a kid and having everything fly over my head. I, I actually kind of agree with that because I was like, I want to experience the 80s too. So I think we might be in the same boat on that one yeah, as well. I feel you. I feel you. Um, so. That's always a fun question. I always like thinking about that one. Kind of along the same lines. This one's a yes. little different though, but kind of hypothetical. You're, okay. You, you personally can't time travel. But, okay. But your phone has the internet for five years in the future. What's the first thing you're going to search for? like topics like are you talking like i'm just gonna hand you your phone back and it has internet for five years in the future you can literally do anything with it you can uh, open an app you can google you can do whatever what are you going to do first um i would actually really like check the news i would want to know like what's happened in the world mm. Um, you know, honestly, that's, I think, like, I feel like that's a really, like, like, lame answer, but in all actuality, that's probably what I would do, because I would want to know, like, oh, well, here I am, you know, in 2021. Sure. What, what the heck is going to happen, yeah. like, years from now? It's, it's a great, it's a great answer. I think that's how I go about it, too. I think I would probably... Uh, a couple people have said a couple different things. Obviously, like, look at the news from the historical standpoint of, like, what were the lottery tickets? Like, mm -hmm. who won the Super Bowl so I could gamble? Right? Stuff like yeah. that's, like, pretty straightforward. But I probably would just, like, Google myself. As weird and as, like, cathartic as that would be, I would want to know, like, what's going on? Like, that would be, where's like, my, my life? second thing. Yeah. yeah, that would be my second thing that I would do. But I, I would say my first would be just checking. Like general news. world news. I just would want to see what's going on. Yeah. Nope. That makes a lot of sense. Um, what is one thing that is still on your bucket list? And it could be you. It could be you and your husband. It could be whatever. But so bucket list it's item. Funny. It's funny that you say that because I we almost completed one of our bucket list Ooh, things. Right, fun. Right before, right before COVID. Okay. So, um... <laughs> <laughs> what if I were dead though, Liv? You, um, well, you would know probably like how know, long you yeah. have, Livy. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, no, but I, you know, I, we actually had plans to go to Japan. Oh, so wow. Japan is, going to Japan is our, on our bucket list. And we're hoping to complete that soon. Um, and by by soon I mean like hopefully sometime next year, if not mm. the following year. Yeah. Um so because what was really sad about it was we had planned to go to Japan in April. Um, one of my best friends who actually is Japanese and we met like through college. Um, and my husband like studied abroad in Japan. Like wow. he actually studied Japanese like that's what he studied that's awesome um so he is you know I would say semi-fluent in cool. Japanese right now yeah um and so uh so you know like we would be able to get around yeah um and you know so she was getting married and um you know in April and then COVID hit in you know end of March and we had to like rearrange plans and it was very hectic time sure and um you know so we were close yeah but, and that's still i think that's still number one that's on awesome my though list. do you have like a specific so. part 
of Japan you want to see first, or are you guys just gonna go all over? What what's Mul- the plan? multiple parts? Mul- yeah. Multiple parts. So we would go on the bullet train. Um, so uh, obviously, so our plan was to fly into Tokyo. Um, we would see you know Tokyo. We would go into um, Kyoto. Um, we would see. Um, uh, we would go and see uh, Nagoya. We would go and see. Um, we were actually thinking about Hiroshima. Wow, like, yeah. We were we were gonna go all over. Sure. Um, you know, I would say southern Japan because yeah. we would really really want to go to like um, northern Japan, which is like Sendai and things like that. Um, but you know, it's it's far too much to yeah. travel, and there's not really a bullet train that kind yeah. of goes way up. That so. sounds awesome, though. I hope you guys get a chance to do that. Yeah, That'd be eventually. Amazing. Yeah, I'm sure you guys will figure it out somehow. You'll yeah. you'll make it work. We will. We will. You'll make it work. Okay. How about you? Um, you know, I would say probably for me, Rita and I have talked a lot about going to Toronto. We, Toronto. We've, okay. we've never been to Canada and it's really? like close enough to be able to make the trip. Like we can right. split up the drive. We've got some family in um like the north western part of Michigan in like the Grand mm-hmm. Rapids area. So we could yeah. drive straight to them, split up the drive, hang out for a little bit and then buzz over to Toronto, sort of work our way up there. Um you know, I've just heard so many nice things. I know a bunch of people now through Twitch in not only Canada, but in the Toronto yeah. area who could give us a lot of really great suggestions. Um, it would be really, really cool to be able to do that. Yeah. Rita says, uh, I've been to Canada, bro. You ain't been with me, though. We haven't been to Canada. <laughs> and, and I haven't been to Canada. Um, right. Rita did a lot of traveling as a kid. So, and it's not oh, something good. not something that I had a chance to do as much as she did. I got to through right. college, um, but being able to travel together is pretty cool. We've been able to do a little bit while we've been together and got engaged in Austin, did a destination proposal, super fun. So, oh, um, yeah, just that. little stuff like that. We 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 enjoy it despite the turbulence. We do enjoy uh, oh, traveling yeah. together. So I think that would be. That would be my answer on the bucket list. I don't know. She probably has a different one. But for me, that's one thing I still really want to do for sure. Mm. Taco uh, says she, Toronto's insane. We should go. I would love it. I I want to go to Toronto. I think I've only been to Niagara Falls. I think okay. that's the only like Canada spot I've ever been to, which yeah. is so funny because I have many friends in Canada as well. So yeah. Vince, actually, that was in here earlier, yeah. uh, he's from uh, Windsor area. Oh, wow. So. Okay. Um, and I have some that are, you know, from Newfoundland. Yep. Um, it's, so it just. Yeah. yeah. And they're they're always so kind and, um, you know, generous and just really down oh, yeah. to earth. So I would definitely like to go and see what it's all about up there. And um, it's it like I said, we, we could make the drive pretty straightforward and make oh, the yeah. travel part easier. So that's mm-hmm. definitely the move. Liv says uh, her and Sam were going to try to go too. Yeah. Oh, we'll have to figure it out. Yeah. We'll have to figure it out. Um, I've got two questions left. Are you ready? Uh, hold on one second, because Rita asked me a question. Uh, did my friends end up getting married oh, yeah. or still, or did they postpone? Um, they did still get married. They they had to go to um like, you know, like the um like the courthouse, I guess. Okay. That's kind of what they did. Um, they did a quick little wedding. Um, they did not postpone, mm. um, which is, I mean, to each their own. Sure. Um, but yeah, they, they just decided to do like a little quick little something. Well, so. like at least they didn't get gather a bunch of people, right? If you're not going to yes. postpone, like, you know, having like a massive wedding, putting a bunch of people at risk, I think is at the bottom of the yes. like responsible scale for people having COVID weddings. So good for yes. them. Good for them switching yes. it up. That's awesome. Okay. I have two left. I love these two. Uh, If the chat has any more, now's a good time to get them in. Um, But I just have to say, you've been awesome. I've appreciated this so much. I've had so much fun. Me too. uh, I'm just really grateful. 
I am too. Oh my gosh, I'm grateful for you, Kimbro. So and the chat and everybody and like the community and it's been it's been incredible. So yeah. and you're the legend. So hey, you <laughs> are me. You. Stop, stop it. You. you guys. You sir. Um, how do you think your future self is going to remember your current self today? Um that I was you know what? Honestly, despite COVID, despite some really bad things happening in my own personal life, mm-hmm. um, I I think I'm the happiest that I have ever been. Mm-hmm. Like, despite all of that, yeah, I am truly happy. That's beautiful. I love so, that. I love that for you, as a so, as our favorite show, Shit's Creek would say. I love that for you. I- Still need to watch Shit's Creek. Oh, it's so good. So oh funny. My gosh. It's like it's like quick, snappy, goofy humor, but it's like the perfect uh it's the perfect little, you know, fun comedy that's got like what's the word? Sort of like an open mind. It's very, very inclusive. It's very uh it's just great. It's great. And that's a great answer. Yeah, I, I don't know. That's just kinda what like, I immediately think that I'm, like, happy with my husband. We have a house. Like, mm-hmm. things are good. I'm, like, really good on Twitch. You know, I I love my cosplays. Yep, you know, yep. I podcast. As I say, your like, new podcast. It's been my friends, you know. Yep. I mean, I have only see, like, very, very, very small amount of friends. But, uh, Still. you know, my family's doing well. Yep. I mean, for the most part, so pretty much it i love that kimbro what'd you say for me yes um you know very similarly very similarly you know 2020 was extremely challenging um in all the all the ways that everybody knows including the ones that uh you know people don't know about personal lives and stuff but um, yes you know, Rita and I had Same. a chance to get married, and our family is uh, is doing well, and um, we're we both were able to retain our jobs, and you know, our parents are are doing well. There's just you know stuff like that. Um, it's just like a really really good. Uh, it was a really good last year, and I'll remember. Um, I remember like being happy and having a lot of fun despite everything. Feeling like Rita and I had a chance to connect extremely close. You know what I mean? It's just yes. that kind of stuff I think is definitely going to be the lasting thing that I'll remember about this time for sure. And and I've mentioned this a couple of times. The other thing that'll be really cool is um, we uh, we won't um, we won't necessarily like have to forget about it. And what I mean by that is like for some reason having your your life sort of captured in Twitch YouTube land during yes. this part of your life I think is, yes. is something that um, I'm going to look back on and be very very happy that we've had this um, uh, to be able to show our kids to be able to just reminisce on in general like it's just going to be really cool to be able to look back and, and have these conversations dialogued and recorded and yeah I'm just really really happy about it yeah yeah good yeah I got one more for you you ready I am ready okay let's get it which of your friends and family are you most proud of and why? Wow. Um, this is always my, my last question. It's my favorite one. My friends and family? Yeah. You know, I have to go with my, my best friend, which is my sister. I would have to go with my sister. Okay. Most most proud of her. The reason why is because I have seen how I mean, I've she's 5 years younger than me. So, um, you know, I've seen her grow up. I've sure. I've changed her diapers before. Sure. I, you know, I I've seen how she has grown into the person that she the the bright, the smart the funny, like the kind person that she is today. And I think, I think I'm the most proud of her, to be honest, because she also like had to go through a lot 
Um, you know, in our childhood, she had to go through a lot, like, throughout, um, you know, her, like, high school years, her middle school years, um, even her college years, you know? Yeah. So I, I'm the most proud of my sister, I think. I love that. Yeah. And she's got to be very lucky to have you as a support system and a, and a guide and a leader. Um, you know, you've already talked about how she relies on you for certain information, but just yeah. being there for her throughout all this has got to be really important as well. So yeah. um, kudos to you for being a, a wonderful big sis to her. And um, She sounds like she's awesome and doing very well. And that's she, that's what it's all about, you know? Yeah, she is. And uh, it's so funny because I don't know if you know Necro. Yeah. Jake, right? Yep. Um, that's, that's her boyfriend. So yes, yes. I remember that I, now. I already basically consider him family. So sure. and he he treats her so well. So sure. and that's that's all I can ask for. So that's the best. That's the best. I love that. Well, Mocha, this was so much fun. Um, I appreciate you, you giving us time and energy and being oh so gosh, thoughtful and so open. Having me really appreciate I you. Really, really appreciate it. Um and Brett, um, I saw your comment earlier. I just wanted to say thank you so much. I really appreciate it. <laughs> well, um, I was going to say kind of along those same lines of Brat's comment in the chat, like tell us about what you've got going on, your Twitch channel, your your cosplay work, your new podcast. Just kind of walk us through everything you've got going on, where we can find you, when are you streaming? Yeah. So um, I, I stream um, three days a week. So I stream um, on Twitch. Um, I stream on Tuesday nights at 6 p.m. EST, Thursday during the day um, at 2 p.m. EST, and then Sundays at 6 p.m. EST. Okay. So um, it might be changing soon because I might be getting a job soon. So um, a new job. So that'll be really interesting. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what I do. I actually I stream a lot of like JRPGs and like RPGs and things like that. Um and action adventure games. They're it's really fun. Yeah. Um I you know, I want to build a really nice, like friendly community that's accepting of everybody and I so far, I mean it's I'm working on it. So yeah. it's you know, it's been great. So. You're doing awesome. And you've got you've got the cosplay thing going on. Yeah, so um, that I have an Instagram for. I also have a TikTok for it. Um, so yeah, it's the same as my handle, uh, Mocha Lila. So, okay. um, but yeah, I I've really enjoyed cosplay. I think um, more lately, 2020, I really didn't cosplay a whole lot because there was just like you know, there's too much going a on, lot going on and yeah. things. But uh, definitely this year, um, there was a there was a lot um you know there was a lot of motivation i think from people surrounding me with cosplay sure. so um so yeah that happened and then also thank you taco thank you mm -hmm. um yeah and we we do have a podcast um i have it with coffee cat um which is my partner in crime and i love her so much and yep. she is my best friend yep. um and we're very 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 close um and yeah, so we have a podcast called the One Up Spot Podcast, um, and we basically talk a little bit about um, pretty much anything from video games to anime to streaming to life, and I love you know, it, all of that. So I love it, and such a such a cool thing to do with one of your closest friends, right? To have yeah. those kinds of conversations, dialogued or um, cataloged, I should say, so that you guys will have them. It's uh, yeah. it's great. You guys are killing it. I'm so proud of you guys. Uh, very We're fortunate. We're proud of you and your podcast as well, the <laughs> Streamer Pod. Thank you. Yeah, we've had a lot it's of fun. Good stuff. It's, it's 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 a wild thing to dive into when you've got other content creation things going on, but it it is really rewarding and and really fun to, you know, not have and to worry guys, about gaming per se and just yes. have you know really interesting conversations about different topics. Yes, and I I will say I did learn a lot from you guys. So. Because I also, I listen to you guys all the time. Well, thank so. you. We appreciate you guys, the support. You guys are great. It. Thank so. you. And, and you know, um, definitely I, I speak on behalf of, of Rita. We just really appreciate your friendship. I know we've known oh. each other for coming up on a year, if not a little I, bit longer. Uh, yeah. And, um, you know, kind of one of the most challenging times of most of our c collective lives. And, uh, you know, we've had people like you and Liv and... and cat to lean on and get to know and support it's been 
It's been really, really special. So I appreciate you and I'm glad you were able to come on with me. Oh my gosh, Kimbrough, like anytime, anytime we, I'm always here and, you know, same, like if you ever want to like come on to my, absolutely, which, you know, channel, maybe perhaps we'll, we'll plan something. I'd be but, fun. I'd like to do that. Or maybe even the podcast yeah. because I've talked to Liv about doing the podcast. Having a guest. I would love to have you on eventually as well. So you, you guys know how to get a hold of me. You let me know yes. and uh, we'll, we'll put something together. Um, yeah, but I'm grateful for you and Rita. Yeah. Um, you guys have been, you know, great friends to me. So. Absolutely. And we're not going nowhere. And you're kicking butt. <laughs> you can't get rid of us. We're sti we're sticking around. All right. And and we are sticking around with you. All right. Yes. I'm sticking around with you. <laughs> I love it. Well, Mocha, we appreciate you so much. We've been shouting you out all night. But please, y'all, drop Mocha a follow. Holler at her over on Instagram. Check out the podcast, everything she's got going on. She's killing it and working really hard on all those different facets. And I'm really proud of you. So thank you so much for coming and kicking it with me. Thank you. All Thanks right. for having me again. We'll talk to you soon, Moke. Yeah, sounds good. All right, bye. bye. Chat, you legends. How sweet, right? Mocha's incredibly kind and thoughtful, dynamic. I didn't know so many different things about her. Learned a ton um, tonight, which is very, very cool. Uh, you guys are amazing. Thank you for being here. Happy Thursday. Thank you for hanging out in the chat and keeping us company. You guys were amazing, Brat.